Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, Untamed Strength. Today, I got a pull workout, little deadlifts, little back, little buys. But we're going to talk about what is the training split, what's the most optimal training split for you, your goals, your experience. Before we hop in the video, do your boy a favor. Click the like thing, this thing, subscribe. Let's dive in. So we get tons of questions for you guys. And um, one of the most common questions recently is kind of about what a training split is, what training split do I do, which training split should you do? I guess we start with what a training split really is. And I think it comes from kind of old school bodybuilders splitting up what body parts they're training on what day. And bodybuilding, arguably, maybe even still, but was uh, the most popular training around. Um, Arnold obviously made it very, very popular, uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. Even uh, Ronnie Coleman, some of these guys in the magazines made it extra popular, where strength sports, I feel like until the internet era, till the social media era, guys Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, haven't really made it as popular. Where now, you could argue it's about 50-50 um, in terms of people that are that serious about lifting, CrossFit helped, weightlifting's getting more and more popular. Still kind of the ugly stepchild, sorry guys, truth hurts. Um, but bodybuilding, because humans are shallow and are really into visuals, I think has been the most popular. And the way they used to train, and some do still, especially on the IFBB level, many enhanced athletes will train a body part a week. And they would split up something like chest and biceps, shoulders and back, triceps, calves and abs, rinse and repeat, typically doing kind of a five, six day split, doing a body part and annihilating it once a week. More natural bodybuilding uh, gotten more popular recently um, and ways, even strength um, science and, and, and methodologies have really become a lot more advanced over the last 10 years. And we've noticed that higher frequency, whether your goal is strength or hypertrophy looking good, um, is going to benefit you overall. So training splits like legs push pull, even just a push pull, something like that, where you're training five or six days a week, you'll do a leg day, you'll do a pull day, so you have back, biceps, maybe even deadlifts, and then a push day, shoulder, triceps, chest, uh, maybe take a day off, rinse and repeat, um, one kind of a higher volume day or uh, session in the week, first three, second three being more strength based, something of that nature, maybe be the same exercises, maybe slightly different, also very popular. Um, overall for athletes, you know, whether you play team sports, um, powerlifting, whatever it might be, even my man Eric Helms, who him and I chatted, and I'm a big fan of in general, but we're both um, big fans of kind of a full body workout um, multiple times a week. So while all, when I'm fully healthy and I'm getting after it, um, and a lot of powerlifters, you could say, kind of do this as well, where they'll have a certain amount of lifts that they have to do in a week, and then they'll just break them up evenly in a, in a, in a, within the week. So you might be squat, bench, and deadlifting, uh, one day, you might be squatting and benching the next day, you might be doing overhead and stiff legs the next day, um, but basically you may be hitting a variety of body parts multiple times a week. I enjoy that method just because it allows me to kind of take a break from, okay, I'm just squatting every day, or okay, I'm just doing legs today, and you kind of mix up the variety. Uh, it, depending on your goal, again, if it's powerlifting, you got to squat bench dead often, it uh, can get a little bit monotonous, uh, but if you're going for aesthetics, hypertrophy, or for me, I just want to feel good, look good, move a little bit better, um, you can do a little bit more variety in your exercises, at least within a, uh, a week, and allows it uh, to be a little bit um, less monotonous, a little bit more exciting. I deadlifted today, can I deadlift tomorrow? Or I squatted yesterday, I want to deadlift today. Um, yes, you can do anything. Your body adapts to insane things. But what I would say in terms of split or strength athletes, this is more for those powerlifting, weightlifting, strongman, um, is that we have a certain amount of work certain amount of frequency, certain amount of volume we can handle that we can recover from while still making progress. That's number one goal. And then how you split it up in the week, you will adapt to n almost anything. But obviously, if you have four squat days in a week and you're going Monday through Thursday with those, then having three days off, you're probably not optimizing your time. Um, some people, because of schedule, work, kids, whatever, might have to do that. But if you can break them up evenly, not only will you be more fresh on each session so you can handle uh, better loads, more volume, and move better, but two, you're breaking up how often you uh, practice. That technical proficiency is gonna be super important, and if you take three days off from anything, golf, basketball, lifting, you're gonna be a little bit rustier than if you only did every other day, where you're kinda of always gonna be greasing the groove. How, when, why, apply it to your own workouts. Again, a lot of people ask me, like, teach us how to program, or how do I program, or I wanna program for myself. And I think it's cool you wanna learn those things and be independent. Um, and kind of figure it all out, but programming in itself is pretty complex, although some of the strategies around it are very basic. Um, getting a coach, reading a lot, 
those kind of ways can help you learn if you really analyze what you're doing. How do you apply splits to your workout? Again, it kind of depends. I don't think, I don't really like the word because I think we have a certain amount of work and we have a certain amount of volume, frequency, and exercise we have to do in a week. And how you break that up is more dependent on kind of nutrition, life, schedule like that, rather than the typical split or what people think about when they read an old school magazine or even a new school ma magazine, sadly, and they're talking about building biceps one day, triceps the next day. Following a program, have an outline, frequency broken up with your exercises that are determined by your goals, how you move, and your experience will basically build your split. A lot of times I think the backwards thinking of have a split and then fill things in, whereas we have to kind of reverse engineer it. What do I need to get done? What's optimal for me? And then you split it up during your week. Uh, hopefully that makes some sense. I'm gonna get to these deadlifts. Leave your comments below. Ask any questions. New videos Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. New podcast every Wednesday. Appreciate you guys. Sound like I'm out.